let's get your business ready to take guest orders and payments. From the web dashboard and your Clover device, we'll set up everything you'll need, from taxes to menu. One of the most important things you'll want to do as a business is set up taxes. Go to Setup, then Taxes and Fees. Here, you can enter your local tax rate as the default or specify any other taxes you're required to collect. If you plan to always ask for tips, go to Setup, then Tips, and check the Ask for Tips box. You can also set suggestions for tip percentages. As a restaurant, you'll need to decide where to display your tips prompt, either on the printed payment receipt or the signature screen on your Clover device. This is a setting you can control only on your Clover device. Go to Setup and select Tips. Here, you'll also choose whether to have your tips calculated with or without taxes. To add menu items, you'll use the Inventory tool on either your Clover device or the web dashboard. It will sync across all devices. Now let's build your menu by adding individual items. We'll use the web dashboard, but this can also be done in the Inventory tool on your Clover device. We'll cover the main components for building your menu, including categories, labels, modifiers, and items. We recommend setting up categories first. In Inventory, select Category, and then Add New Category. Categories help you more easily find items in Register. They're also useful when you need to group items in your reports. Next, we'll cover Labels. In Inventory, click Labels and Add New Label. Labels help you keep track of how your business is doing, send orders or receipts to the right printer, and pull reports that simplify tax reporting. For instance, you might have operations with separate revenue class accounting, such as food and wine. If your guests will be given options to modify their orders, create modifiers to communicate those preferences to the kitchen. In Inventory, select Modifier Groups and then Add New Modifier Group. Enter the name of a modifier. The price is a required field. Enter zero if there's no extra cost to this modifier. Then select Add to Group. Follow the same steps to add the rest of the modifiers and when finished, select Save. Okay, we're ready to create your items. In Inventory, click on Items and Add New Item. Fill out the fields you need. And since you've already set up categories, modifiers, and labels, you can simply select them in the drop-down menus. To set your order preferences, let's go to Setup, then Orders. Select Order Notes if you'd like employees to take special instructions for an order and print them on the order receipt. To group identical items so they look organized and register, select this checkbox. You'll also save paper with shorter receipts. Next, we'll configure the appearance of your order receipts. Keep in mind, order receipts are different from payment receipts, which go to your customers. Choose Setup and Order Receipt. If you want customers to pick up using their order number, set up order numbering for receipts. Under Order Numbers, select either Automatic or Manual to display order numbers on your order receipts. Under Setup and Order Types, you can create order types, such as Bar and To Go. You'll be able to sort by order type in the Orders tool and group by order type in your reports. Next, go to Setup and Payments to select the type of payments you'll accept. You can also decide if you want to enable offline payments when the network connection is down. To learn more about setting up, go to clover.com help.